Good afternoon. Now we are going to discuss the algorithm of evaluation of meningeal symptoms in children of different ages. First of all, we will start with a child who is three years old. While beginning the examination, before beginning of the examination, you have to greet mother and ask her permission to examine her child. Good afternoon. Now I'm going to examine your child for the symptoms of meningeal irritation. Once you get the uh, agreement of mother to examine her child, you can start examination. First of all, we start with a nuchal rigidity sign or neck stiffness sign. To perform that symptom evaluation, you have to be sure that the child is lying supine with extended extremities. Placing one hand, your dominant hand, on the chest, pressing slightly on the chest, another hand you place under the head of the child. Now you are trying slightly to bend chin of the child to chest. If it is possible to flex neck, some symptom is negative. If it is painful or the child, so the child feels pain or you feel resistance with your hand and it's impossible to bend chin to chest, symptom is positive. Second symptom, it's a Brzezinski neck sign. Again, child is lying supine with the extended extremities. Dominant hand fixes the chest, left hand fixes head and trying to flex neck, bending chin to chest. When you bend chin to chest, you have to look on the legs. Symptom is positive if legs are flexed, both legs are flexed in knees joints. Symptom is negative when there is no leg flexion. Middle Brudzinski sign. You have to press with the border of your hand, you press on the pubic area and you look on the knees. If they flex, it is a positive symptom. If knees are not flexed, they are extend, this is negative symptom. Leg Brudzinski or, or lower Brudzinski sign. Initial position, child is lying supine with the extended extremities. You flex one leg 90 degrees in knee and hip joint. This is a positive um, passive flexion. If another leg is flexing, that means positive symptom. If another opposite leg remains extended, that is negative Brudzinski leg sign. And the last one you check for Koenig sign. Initial position is the same. Child is lying supine with the um, extended extremities. You hold one knee with the left hand and supporting heel with the right hand. Flexing knee and hip joint in 90 degrees and then passively you're trying to extend the knee joint. If extension is painless, this is negative symptom. If the opposite leg is flexing, that means positive symptom. For, ch uh, for infants, children under 12 months old, we also have to check additional symptoms. First of all, you have to check frontal fontanelle. Performing the palpation on the area between parietal and frontal bones. With the index and middle finger of your right hand, you palpate the fontanelle. Positive symptom is for bulging, tensed and pulsing fontanelle. Negative symptom reveals fontanelle on the level of the skull bones, not tensed, not bulging, not pulsing. And the last symptom for children, for infants, is called Lissage symptom. You have to hold the child under the armpits and lifting him from the surface. Once you hold the child in this way, negative symptom 
will be in case when the legs are not flexed, they are bending and moving without any force. If the child bends his knees toward the chest and remains like this, this reveals positive Lissage sign. After you perform the examination for meningeal symptoms, you have to greet the mother for getting you the opportunity to examine her child and to explain your results and your conclusions. If the child has any symptoms, positive symptoms for meningeal irritation, or all symptoms were negative.